Hey, Deborah. It's Deborah. 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 Who is your Deborah, and how are they an extension of who you are? My Deborah's a uh, very emotional. Um, I would say the most um, the most desperate for sure for connection and for affirmation. Uh, but also the most willing to like put herself out there and express how she feels about the other Debras. Um, and I think like in real life, I'm a very um, emotional, um, like touchy feely crying type of person. Um, <laughs> so that's a taste. <laughs> My Debra is a little tyrant. Um, <laughs> I would say my Deborah is the little king. <laughs> um, kind of, uh, demands to be in charge and um, wants a lot of attention and is um, just like me. Um, <laughs> but I, I think it's it's funny because when we describe the Debras, like they are extensions of ourselves, but they are also horrible women. So it's it's yeah. always hard to be like, yeah, my Debra is me, and here's all the things about her that are horrible. <laughs> um, <laughs> but like, you know, I do. Hey, I like to, I, I like to have control. Sue me. My Debra is sort of the the coldest, um, like rigid, um, like loves rules to be enforced <laughs> um, and um yeah really stiff and cold and um sort of everything about me but I mean in in real life like of course I have aspects of myself like that but definitely amongst the three of us like I'm the most of that Mitra's the most like um you know uh I don't want to say loving because that also, but, but yeah, emotional and, mm -hmm. and connection seeking and Sandy's the most like, let's take charge of a situation. And I think like in the world, we have aspects of all of these things, but particularly amongst the three of us. The idea is that it's sort of this exclusive club of Deborah. So like there's fierce competition within Deborah as to who's the most Deborah, but <laughs> we hate to be clear. It's me. Yeah. <laughs> to be clear, I just want to make it very clear that I am the most Deborah. It is Sandy, <laughs> but like I'll contend. But everybody, but everybody outside of the world of Deborah is like worse than us, and we hate them, and we want to be in charge of them for the most part. Um, but the kind of rule that we built was that like Sandy, like Deborah, has been in her family for generations and generations. Um, so she's like sort of like old money Deborah. <laughs> um, Alyssa is. What was it like? You, you're you're like you were like more recent into Deborah, but you are still like respected Deborah. Um, Nouveau Deborah. Nouveau Deborah. Nouveau Deborah. <laughs> Nouveau Deborah. <laughs> I was like, if I just keep talking, I'll find the word. <laughs> <laughs> and Mitra has married into Deborah. We killed your pool boy. He died instantly. Did you at least clean up the mess? <laughs> no, I figured the pool boy would clean it up. He didn't. Oh, he is so fired. I have just a series of questions about like which Debra is most likely to do this, and if you guys just, I mean, it could be madness, especially because we're doing it all over Skype. But you know, just just chime in with whoever you think whoever's Debra would be this thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> I know that they don't all have kids, but assume, hypothetically, if they did, which Debra would be most likely to forget their kid to pick their kid up from soccer practice? Sandy. <laughs> I would guess. I mean. I think like you actually would remember and decide not to, but I would forget. That's what I mean. Sure, uh, Mitra would like, forget. Mitra would forget. I, if my kid like did something bad that day, I would be like, you're staying there overnight. <laughs> yeah, I think he would be the most likely to not be there, but I would be the most likely to forget. <laughs> For which Deborah is most likely to hit a parked car and then just drive away and pretend it didn't happen? Sandy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Which Deborah would be most likely to pull a gone girl? In other words, fake their own death and frame their husband. <laughs> I, think oh, I think so. I think so. That, that kind of yeah. makes sense because she is very nouveau Deborah, isn't she? It feels that it might have happened. Maybe <laughs> 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 that's how she became Deborah. <laughs> that's how she became the Deborah, oh. you know, the nanny. Okay. Oh my God. I, yeah, I have a secret family. <laughs> Which Deborah would be most likely to set fire to lemon curd? 
Well, I guess the question is all three intentionally because mm. I think accidentally Mitra, intentionally <laughs> me, and Alyssa would be doing it like as like a fixer upper situation. What sort of YouTube channel do you think each of them would run? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I feel like Mitra would I be think a Mitra bar. unboxing. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. I think like full on vlog unboxing, like yeah. so, but, like unwatched, like so lonely, three views per video. <laughs> I mean, like, and they're not of, like, from us. The ones that are like 22 minute long video called like, my father died and here's how. <laughs> <laughs> Andy's is music videos. Uh -huh, music videos. Music videos. <laughs> Oh, I need to see that. High production value, um, sexual, sexual, sexual music videos. <laughs> <laughs> Who is most likely to just make out completely nasty, disgusting brunch? I think Mitra. And the last one, who is the most likely to call the cops on a neighbor for whatever reason? Alyssa? Not me, not me in real life. <laughs> Alyssa's Deborah. <laughs> I want to be clear. <laughs> last hypothetical isn't so much which is most likely to, but I mean, I'm just curious, how do you guys think the Debras would handle this terrible, terrible quarantine self-isolation situation. I would set up a Zoom every day that Sandy and Alyssa would not come to. <laughs> <laughs> but you would still talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you would send it to us as a podcast recording. <laughs> I think Sandy's Debra would not quarantine. Mm. No. In fact, I brought the virus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that checks out. Yeah, Sandy brings the virus to Lemon Curd. And I, I have a fully stocked bunker. <laughs> Does it feel weird to be putting this out right now that it's coming out when it is? Yeah. Yes. I mean, I'm glad it's as silly as it is. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the stuff that I've been craving right now is either, like, devastatingly sad or incredibly silly uh, in terms of the stuff that I've been watching. So... But it, it feels super weird to be like, and also. <laughs> they're all very busy. Who wants eggs? Me. And they're all named Deborah. <laughs>